Hello and welcome to the next brain teaser in our series. So in this problem you're given eight balls which all look identical and one of them is slightly heavier than the other. So you can't tell just by looking at it but you can you know that it, it weighs a little bit more. So you're given that and you're given a scale and the question is to find out to see if you in how do you identify the the ball that uh, weighs slightly more than the other seven in as few uh, um, scale measurements as possible. So uh, I recommend if you haven't ever tried this problem to you know, now that you know the problem, go off and think about it. Maybe take a few days, think about it, and when you when you know, either you've solved it or you've come up with some solution, you want to check it. Um, come back and then watch the rest of this video. Uh, I'll also try to give a few hints in the, in the, as this video goes along as to how to go about solving this problem. Okay, so here I'm actually now going to start giving hints and solving the problem. So one hint is to think about uh, trying to divide up the balls into different groups. And uh, if, you, if you come from like a computer science background, you might think, oh, I could uh, you know, divide this in half and then keep dividing in half. And that's a good idea. So, uh, however, that's not going to be the optimal solution. There's even one that's better than that. Um, so let me walk you through that solution, then we'll walk through the actual optimal solution. Okay, so if I have um, a scale, let's just say I put, I take them as is here, and I weigh this group against this group. Uh, you know, it's going to tip to one side because one of the balls is slightly heavier. So once I've done that, I'll know that, let's just say the left side tips, so like, let's say you know these guys are all heavier so I take I take these four and I, I, I then do again I, I weigh them I, I split them in half okay if I do that I will then find out oh maybe this time you know I'll weigh these two against these two so this is like this is a B C D E F G, H. And so like here I'll have A and B, and let's say here is C and D. So maybe it turns out that C and D are the heavier ones. So this is heavy. Heavier. This is also heavier. So if I go do that, and then I go, and finally I measure C versus D, and maybe it turns out that C is the heavier one. I've identified in three weighings, oh, C is the, is the heavier one. So that's actually, you know, that works. You, you, you're able to get... Um, uh, down to the to the correct one that's the, the the one that doesn't match the rest of them in three ways but you can actually do better than that so um, let's let's go ahead and do that so let me um, let me clear this um, let's see probably the fastest is just to do this actually I don't know if I wanted to do that but okay let's just say I do that so now let me actually go label these again so now I have a B C D, what if I try, like, you know, why, why do it exactly in half? What if I, um, if I pick, like, three and three? So let's just say I, I, I sort of ignore these guys, and I put my balance here, okay? So I'm going to weigh A, B, C against D, E, F. If they're exactly identical, then I know that all of these six balls are the same, and it's G and H, which uh, one of them is heavier. So I just have to measure... I just have to measure G versus H, okay? So, and then whichever of those two is the heavier one, so let me write that down. So, so case case A, or, or I maybe I shouldn't use the letter A. Um, like case one, um, A plus B plus C equals D plus E plus F, okay, then I measure uh, G and I weigh it, and I compare it to H, and whichever is the heavier one is then the, the oddball out. So you know, my, maybe it's G, okay? So I've then, you know, it works in this case. Let's think about case two. What if, like, you know, the, the heavier ball is among the six here? So maybe A plus B plus C weighs more than D plus E plus F. Okay, well, if that's the case, I've identified now that um, the heavy ball is among these three. It's, it's either A, B, or C. So if that's the case, what I can do is I could pick any two of them, let's say A and B, 
and I weigh them against each other. If A and B are identical, which now I'm going to do like another kind of like subcase, it's like if A and B are identical, then we in, that implies the answer is C. Otherwise, you know, A is bigger or B is bigger, in which case you've identified the one. So A might be bigger or B might be bigger, and then you've identified the one. So that in this case, you see I've only done two measurements. I took, I took a random set of three, I labeled them A, B, C, D, E, F, and then I have G, H left over. I took a random set of three, another random set of three, weighed them against each other. If they're all the same, then I just measure the remaining two. If they're not all the same, I take the heavier batch of those um, the heavier three, and then I pick a random two, and then if, if one of those is heavier, then that's the right ball. Otherwise, if they're identical, it's the ball that I didn't pick. So in this way, I'm able to determine the, uh, the heavy ball in exactly uh, two measurements. Quite cool. Okay, so neat puzzle. Now, if, you, if, you, if this excites you and you want to see a slightly harder one, look for the puzzle of 12 balls and you don't know if it's a heavier or lighter ball. So in this case, notice that we were to you were told that the one, one of the balls was heavier. Um, okay, so that's, uh, that's all.